Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our third lecture on cable sizing using manual, Excel and ETAP. In the previous two lectures, we have covered cable construction, why cable sizing is important, what is proper cable size, calculation of cable sizing using manual method. In today's lecture, we will cover the calculation of cable size using Excel sheet and E tab. Before starting today's lecture, I want to introduce about a free course, design course on transmission lines and distribution lines. In this course, we will cover the design aspects of transmission lines and distribution lines from LT to 800 kV line. The link of this course is given in the description. Now we will start today's lecture. We have calculated cable size for three phase load 100 kilowatt having voltage rating of 450 volt and power factor of 0 0.8 in the previous lecture. We have found that the load current was 173.9 amperes. Short circuit current was 7.407 kilo amperes. Percentage voltage drop was 3.35 percent. Current carrying capacity taking derating factor into consideration was 260.4 amperes. Cable size based on the manual calculation was found 95 square mm. Now we will Calculate the cable size using Excel. This is the Excel sheet for calculating the cable size and voltage drop calculation. Here you can see the electrical load is 100 kilowatt. Type of supply system is three phase. System voltage line to line is 415 volt. Power factor is 0.8. Short circuit current is 7.41. Voltage drop at running is 3%. Type of cable is LTXLP. Cable conductor is aluminium and cable size is single core 95 square mm. You can also see the electrical load starting current is 173.91 amperes, that which I have calculated from manual calculation also. Current carrying capacity is 255 amperes. The rating current is 250 amperes. We have calculated the current carrying uh, capacity of a cable considering the derating factor 260 amperes. Here it is 250 amperes. Now you can see the cable size here shown is proper. Now we will change the percentage voltage drop here. I will change it for suppose at 2%. I want a 2% voltage drop. You can see the cable size is not proper. That means at 2% of voltage drop, our cable size 95 square mm is not proper. Now we can increase the cable size here. I will take it 127 square mm. Still, the cable size is not proper. I can take it 150 square mm. The cable size is proper. So from here, it is clear that with the with the, uh, with the decrease of the voltage drop, our cable size increases. With the increase of our voltage drop, our cable size decreases. Suppose I will again take it here 4% of voltage drop, then change here the cable size to 95 square mm. You can see the cable size is proper. We will calculate the cable size using E tab. This is the E tab, and this is of the single line diagram of the system. The example which we have taken in the manual calculation. This is our distribution transformer, 250 kVA. I will show the all the details of this. Date. This is the 250 kVA distribution transformer, L1 by 0.433 kilovolt distribution transformer, and this is the cable. It is a Three core 35 square mm cable. This is the voltage bus of 
415 volt or 0.415 kilo volt and this is our load of 125 kva or 100 kilowatt this is of the load i will double click on the load you can see the name plate of the load here the kva rating is 125 and kilowatt rating is 100 kilowatt and power factor is 80 percent that is 0.8 now we will perform the load flow analysis of this single line diagram if you want to learn how i make the single diagram in the e tab then you can comment up for that and in the next lecture i will show you how you can make a single line diagram line diagram in the e tab now we will perform the load flow analysis of this single of the system after performing the load flow analysis changes his color that is becomes red that means the cable which i used is not proper you can see here the voltage is 96.24 percent that is the voltage on the bus the voltage on the bus is 96.24 percent now double click on the cable and go to sizing and phase tab you can see the cable size is 35 square mm but the required cable size is 95 square mm the same cable size which i have calculated in manual calculation or in excel sheet voltage you can see here the percentage voltage drop is 4.76 percent if we change to the percentage voltage drop in our manual calculation which i calculated that is 3.35 percent still our required cable size is 95 square mm now i will change this voltage drop to 2 percent you can see the required cable size has increased to 120 square mm from here it, from here it is clear if we decrease the percentage voltage drop our cable size gets increased if we increase the percentage voltage drop our cable size gets decreased i can again make it 3.35 you can see the cable size required is 95 square mm we have taken the short circuit current same 7.4 kilo amperes okay thank you